A horse named Show Me helped Adolfo Cambiaso win the Argentine National Open last weekend. Does it really matter that the horse was a clone? Hey all, Trace here for D News with some insight from the world of polo. <laughs> Not exactly the norm for us at D News, but this is kind of a big deal. The winning polo player, Adolfo Cambiaso, rode a cloned horse in his match, which is a first. The horse was cloned from another prize mount, and although they don't usually play until they're five, Cambiaso chose to trot him out last weekend. Cloned animals aren't anything new per se. Dolly the sheep was cloned very famously back in 1996, and although she wasn't perfect, the technology has come a long way in the years since. In 2010, the first polo pony was cloned, and now the cloning of mounts has become a big business. The breeding of horses leaves their genes and abilities to chance, with the hope that a mother will produce a fantastic offspring from a winning stud. But if you can clone a horse that you already know is exceptional, that changes the game altogether. In fact, companies are already starting to worry, refusing to sell too many clones of the same horse. They wouldn't want four clones of the same star competing against each other on the same field. Other companies in other industries are taking advantage of cloning too. Using traditional breeding, only 30% of dogs can pass the tests to become a bomb or drug sniffer dog. In South Korea, the best in show are being cloned to increase the number of successes. And by the way, in case you didn't know, they also clone cows for beef. Cloning isn't some kind of mad science, guys. Nature has been cloning things for millennia. Self-pollinating plants, identical twins, earthworms, and some trees are all naturally occurring clones. Cuttings of banana plants are used to create cloned plants. So we eat cloned bananas all the time. So let's not do any fear-mongering here. Cloned animals are born the same as any other animal, but they're made up of 98% of the genetic material of a donor, the animal being cloned. The key to our sports story here, says the breeders, is the clone is only born the same. Much like with twins, this is a nature versus nurture argument for the breeders. When it comes to a successful polo mount, or security dog, for example, cloning can increase the chances of success, but just like with humans, if you were to like clone Peyton Manning and burr them out, you wouldn't necessarily end up with a football star 20 or 30 years later. At the moment, clones are banned by North America's Jockey Club and the British Horse Racing Board because clones of purebreds bring their genetic diseases and gene pool limitations with them. This is why we haven't had clones of Secretariat or I'll Have Another, Other Old Winners. Though, come to think of it, I'll Have Another would be kind of an awesome name for a clone. The bottom line, I think, for this whole story is how the heck do you play polo, guys? What do you think of cloned animals making it into sports? Is it gonna change the game? Subscribe to D News and tell us your thoughts down in the comments below, and maybe try and bring this up at your next cocktail party or something. Tell us what happens, tell us how it goes. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching D News.